Hello, I am Shivam, a senior data architect with AWS Professional Services at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I'm going to show you how to retain some of your resources when you delete an AWS CloudFormation stack. Let's get started. By default, CloudFormation deletes all the resources when deleting a stack. However, you can retain resources when you delete a CloudFormation stack by using the deletion policy attribute when defining the resource in your template. I'll use the AWS Management Console to show you how to use the deletion policy with a template to deploy security groups. When using the deletion policy, you can specify retain, snapshot, or delete as value for this attribute. Using the attribute retain keeps the resource in case of a stack deletion. Snapshot, when specified for a resource such as Amazon Relational Database Service Database or Amazon Elastic Cache, creates a snapshot of the resource before being deleted. Delete is the default option when you don't specify a value. This option means that you will delete the resource along with the stack. Refer to the AWS documentation to learn additional details about these options. After logging in to the AWS Management Console, navigate to the CloudFormation Console. Now let's create a new stack and choose with new resources standard. I have a demo YAML file with the stack template and I'll upload it to the CloudFormation Console. This template creates two security groups and two ingress rules. Note that there is no deletion policy, so this inherits the default behavior to delete the resource. For prerequisite section, select template is ready. In the specified template section, select upload a template file. Choose the file option and look for the template file delete policy demo without retain.yaml and then choose next. Specify a stack name as deletion policy demo without retain. Now choose next in the lower right corner. Keep the stack options as is. We'll use the default configuration in this case and choose the next button in the lower right corner. Review the stack, scroll down again to the end of the page and choose submit. You can follow the progress in the events tab. To refresh the status, choose the refresh button in the upper right corner. Now your stack is in create complete status. Let's validate the security groups were created. Navigate to the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud Amazon EC2 console in a new browser tab. Now go to the security group section in the EC2 console. You'll see two security groups with names starting in deletion policy demo without retain. Now go back to the CloudFormation console. Select the deletion policy demo without retain radio button in the left pane and in the upper right corner, choose the delete button. CloudFormation asks for confirmation, stating this resource will be deleted according to the deletion policy parameter. Choose the delete stack. Follow the process in the events tab. And when you see the state delete complete, Refresh the status by choosing the refresh button in the upper right corner. Go back to the EC2 console tab and choose the refresh button. As you can see, there are no security groups because of the default behavior to delete the resource when deleting a stack. Now let's change the CloudFormation template. I have a file to add the deletion policy statement for each of the resource defined with the value of retain. Because of this value, we can expect to keep the security groups when we delete the stack. Go back to the CloudFormation console and deploy this new stack to test the delete policy. Again, choose the Create Stack button and select with New Resources option. For prerequisite section, select Template is ready. In the Specified Template section, select Upload a Template File, choose the File option, and look for the template file deletion policy demo retain.yaml. Click next. Provide a stack name as deletion policy demo retain. Now click next in the lower right corner. Let's keep the stack options as is. Scroll down and then choose the next button in the lower right corner. Review the stack and scroll down again to the end of the page and click submit. Follow the progress in the Events tab using the Refresh button. 
When stack reaches create complete, go back to the EC2 console tab and refresh to see that the security groups named deletion policy demo retain are created. Let's delete the stack and then return to the CloudFormation console. Select the deletion policy demo retain radio button and then choose the delete button. Confirm the deletion by choosing the delete stack button. Follow the process in the events tab until you see the state is delete complete. Go back to the EC2 console and refresh. As you can see, the security groups were kept even after the stack was deleted. And now you know how to retain some of your resources when you delete a CloudFormation stack. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs> <laughs>